a developing story out of Tampa. The city's police chief resigning after body cam video showed her using her position to get out of a traffic stop. Good evening and welcome to ABC Action News at 5. I'm Jameis Newler. And I'm Lauren St. Germain. And for Wendy, thank you for joining us. The chief wasn't in the position for long. And in today's announcement, Mayor Castor, who used to hold that position, made it very clear she is not happy. Well, Michael Poluska joins us live from Tampa. And Michael, a lot of people looked at the chief's appointment as her second chance to some past issues. Yeah, Jameson and Lauren, and the punishment for this was extremely swift. The mayor telling me a short time ago that she got a call from Mary O'Connor on Wednesday night, and she sort of explained what had happened. And then Thursday morning, uh, the mayor says she looked at that body cam video, and now we see the outcome what happened today. Police department cannot be successful if they don't have the community's trust. And so incidents that we saw, like the one that involved Chief O'Connor, erode that trust of the community and it takes so much to be able to earn that and so little to erode it. Tampa Mayor Jane Castor says she gave former police chief Mary O'Connor a second chance following an arrest during a traffic stop in 1995. Then she saw this. I'm hoping that you'll just let us go. After saying, quote, let us go, O'Connor, seen in the video, then flashes her badge. Those three words and actions landed her on administrative leave. Now she's off the force. Castor says the search for a new chief is already underway. So we will do a very comprehensive, exhausting search and then present candidates to our community, uh, include city council, ensure that everyone is comfortable with the, the choice that is made. Earlier this year, before O'Connor was hired, she spoke briefly about her 1995 arrest, where documents show she became irate and hit a cop. I believe in second chances wholeheartedly, as you pointed out, but I also believe that discipline needs to be uh, given in a fair and impartial manner. So I think that just like the chance that was given to me 28 years ago to evaluate every aspect of my own case, I look forward to doing that with the men and women of this department as well. When you saw this this morning, what were your emotions like? Um, a sigh of relief. A sigh of relief. I feel as though um, the community deserves uh, better. We zoomed with the president of the Hillsborough County NAACP, Yvette Lewis. She is an outspoken critic of O'Connor because of that 1995 arrest. What is your message now to Tampa Mayor Jane Castor about who the next pick should be moving forward? The issue is now, um, the, what the message is, is that engage in the community. Have a conversation with the NAACP, a true conversation, and be honest and true to uh, the community. Um, this city cannot be ran as though it's just one person or one particular race that has a certain privilege or a certain voice. And, you know, during that entire process, the mayor received a lot of criticism because uh, he felt like it wasn't really open to the public and there wasn't as much public engagement to pick Mary O'Connor. The mayor told me today she does plan to invite the NAACP to talk and every other community member so that they have a stake in who becomes our next police chief. We're live in front of City Hall tonight. Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.